GoPro has streamlined its action camera lineup and today we'll be testing the Hero 5 session. Borrowing many of the features from the older Hero 4 Black and with some added new ones, we tested to see if it's worth the premium price tag. The Hero 5 session is virtually identical to the older model in terms of design. The small cube shape makes it easy to mount or place pretty much anywhere. There's a dust and moisture resistant flap on the side which protects the USB Type-C port and micro SD card slot. We have two buttons on the camera which is used to capture footage and navigating the camera menus. There's a small monochrome LCD display which shows you battery life and other settings. The backlit text has good brightness and is even legible under sunlight. However, the camera still lacks a native tripod mount and we expected at least pivot arms along with the adhesive mounts in the box. The housing is designed smartly so you can use the camera in different orientations. In terms of specifications, we have a 10 megapixel sensor, 4K video support at 30 FPS, electronic video stabilization, and the ability to record in much higher bitrate at 60 Mbps. The new session is still waterproof without the need of a housing and has Wi Fi and Bluetooth. It also supports direct upload to GoPro Plus subscription based cloud service, which currently isn't available in India. Voice control is a new feature for the Hero 5 family, and this works pretty well provided there isn't much ambient noise. You can trigger various functions by saying the pre-programmed commands. Image and video performance is very good except in low light where the video tends to get a little noisy. The microphones are also very sensitive and are able to pick up little nuances well. The stabilization feature works very well for videos up to 2.7K resolution and you can switch between linear, medium, wide and super view field of views depending on your activity. Superview will give you the widest view, but it also offers the most barrel distortion. We found it best to stick to the wide mode for most use cases. The Capture app is the best way to change the settings quickly, as doing it via the camera can get a bit tedious. The app lets you transfer files from the camera to your phone, which then can be edited in GoPro's Quick app. The Hero 5 session can now do 30fps burst shooting, along with looping video and simultaneous video plus photo and time-lapse video, which wasn't possible before. Battery life varies drastically depending on the resolution you're shooting at and if you have the wireless connection enabled or not. At 4K resolution with the wireless off, we got about an hour of battery life, but dropping to low resolutions does give you more runtime. Overall, the Hero 5 session offers most of the features of the new Hero 5 Black in a much smaller package, making it a worthy successor to its predecessor. New features like voice control and 4K video are great additions to have. Given the premium you're paying though, it wouldn't have hurt to get more accessories bundled in the box and the battery life could have always been better. So thanks for watching our review. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe and follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram.